Halloween everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now, um, last episode we actually accumulated so much wool, I don't know why I have this random piece of grass, you know what, you can, you can stay here little piece of grass, it's okay, little piece of grass, but anyway, um, basically what we did last time, um, we built, or started to build, almost finished building, this amazing enchanting space, which is a giant wizarding hat, and what we're going to be doing today is finishing this bad boy, because we've got definitely enough blue wool, and um, we might need a little bit more black wool just to finish off the back, but we'll go and see how many of our black sheep have actually um, made, oh there we go, made some wool for us beautiful so I'm, I'm gonna stop shearing all the blue sheep because I don't really want them to grow anymore I don't need any more uh, blue wool I'm afraid we've got um, 54 on us and we're definitely not gonna need that much to uh to be able to finish off our little build uh, so what we're gonna do today is completely finish it so we're gonna be making enchanting tables bookshelves another trip to the stronghold will be um, needed because we're gonna need all of our all of our obsidian um, no we're not gonna need obsidian actually we might have some in here let's have a quick check uh, yeah, we will need some more obsidian, and we're also going to need, uh, what else? Uh, bookshelves, that's what I was trying to say. Bookshelves are what we're going to need. So that's pretty cool, and I'm excited to get this done, because this is probably uh, my favourite build so far, maybe. I don't know, I love all of the TD Empire. We've now got two dogs, if you haven't seen that already. Look at them, ah, oh, they're so beautiful. And I think someone um, suggested to call them Olivia. Now, I'm going to do that, and I'll put your comment as well. It might have been a tweet, actually, but anyway, to call the dog Olivia. So we've got Oliver and Olivia, a cute little pair, and... Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get this started. So what we need to do is just finish off the back of the hat and then, oh, we do need some more black wool for the floor. Ideally, I would like black wool for the floor because it keeps it all mysterious and stuff. But um, I don't know about that. I don't know if we'll have enough to finish it off like that. And the first block I place is misplaced. Beautiful, good job, good job, Dan, well done. <laughs> uh, we actually need to shave off some of the uh, blue wool as well because I need to just cut off the corner. But we'll do that in a second. So we just need to put this all the way along here. Here we go. And how much have we got left? Four. Oh, we're just going to be oh, one short. And this misplaced block will actually finish off. So we had the perfect amount. I think it was like 25 or something. Finished it off perfectly. That is nice. Nice work there. Uh, I just want to shave this one off here. Just to make it a little bit more rounded. And then shave this one off here. And the hat is pretty much complete when we get rid of these dirt blocks as well. Uh, let's see if they will drop. There we go. And I think that's complete now. We just need a front door and stuff. Is that all good? That's all good. We've got no gaps around the side either. It's all looking absolutely awesome. I am so happy with how it's turned out. Maybe the back shouldn't be that flat, but hey, hey, we're, gonna, we're just going to have to deal with that for now. So the inside still looks like a tree, which is a problem, but uh, we'll have to sort that out in a second. Let's just light it up quickly, just so we can see what we're doing. And it is black wool, so it is going to be a little bit strange, but there we go. That's pretty much it. And, oh, no, no, please no. Please no, really? Really, is there just, oh, there's a gap at the top. Uh, we're going to have to sort that out right now. So let's jump onto the top. Uh, let's get over here somewhere. Oh! Oh, I didn't think we were going to make that, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. We actually did make that. Right, let's put some dirt here. Remember our way down so we can kind of fix it. And I think... Um, I think this is just like... Finished off like this. Yeah, that's fine. Just like that. Beautiful. So now we are done. Uh, I can't believe I missed that bit out. What, what a silly Billy. It's going to be really dark in here now, isn't it? Oh, it's not too bad. We've got torches around. So I want some glowstone in here. Uh, I also want to finish it off with black wool on the floor. So we are going to need a lot more black wool uh, to finish off the bottom. Now, will black wool be okay? I'm not too sure if we really want black wool or not. I just need to finish uh, this bit in as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go get some black wool and over the time we're waiting for some more black wool We can actually get to getting our enchanting table on the go and also uh, We're gonna be enchanting something today because we've got 39 levels and the enchantments I want uh, There's a way to get the enchantment that you want but that involves kind of like quitting and resaving and stuff And I don't really want to do that because this is a survival let's play so I don't really want to do that at all So I'm not going to so we're gonna have to deal with whatever enchantment we get and I am actually going to enchant my um, my diamond pickaxe, so that should be fun. That should be really fun. So we're gonna take a little trip to the stronghold now 
And I'm going to put some of this stuff away. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'll uh, put the lapis away. We don't need this or this. And we're going to put some other stuff as well. And we, we're we going to need some more bone meal just to turn some of our sheep back to, um, back to normal colours. Because we don't really want that much blue sheep. And we do need some white just to finish off. The um the rest of let me just do this uh the rest of the the build because I kind of have on the other one I thought uh, it needed some kind of like variation so we can have like some little white spots little white flecks which I think would be quite cool so we're gonna do that as well uh, I don't need this egg might need some eggs later on we do need some torches though so we're gonna have to grab some more coal while we're out uh, or do we have some more coal in here. Um, no. Right, we also need to have a look at how to make an enchanting table as well. So let's just make ten sticks. There we go. And some fill up all the torches like this. There we go. Nice set of 40 torches. So we do this like this. And we also need to take our diamond pickaxe with us and also find how much we need to grab. So we need, uh, we need some books as well. So we've got our axe to hand to chop down all of them books. All of them books. Uh, enchanting table. Where is that going to be? Um, maybe... Oh, I have no idea where, this is, where the enchanting table is going to be. Uh, maybe... Nope, not there. Not there. Not there. Um, where is it going to be? Structures, possibly? Uh, nope. Oh, it might be in here, actually. There we go. So we need two diamonds, four obsidian, and one book. So the books can be fine, and the obsidians can be fine, because I know oh god, there's I know there's loads of obsidian down there. Have we got another axe anywhere? I don't think so, because we might need a ton of books. Oh, we do have another axe. I thought we had some somewhere. So let's go. Let's go on a little journey down into the depths again. Uh, we haven't been down here for a while, I don't think. Uh, maybe. We, we weren't like a couple of episodes ago. It wasn't too bad, um, to be honest. And how are you doing, guys? How's everyone? Oh, I forgot to say. The bakery has now got uh, some customers and a baker as well. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, I think I think I am. So, yeah, the, the bakery has been bought. I think it's just been bought by the community as a whole because no one's just going to stay in there and bake stuff. We're going to be the baker and supply the bakery with all its goods. And we're just going to have loads of visitors coming in and out. It's going to be beautiful. And as you can see there, two people kind of uh, investigated it already. But anyway, we'll leave them to it and we'll carry on our little adventure down into the depths of here. Now, um, hopefully I don't get lost again. I should probably bring my map, to be honest, just so that I know where I am. And I'm gonna do that as well. Because if I die, I'm just gonna have to go back and get it anyway. So let's go and grab it. And I think I should be okay. How's my armor looking? It's looking alright. We shouldn't come across too many nasties, because where we need to go it is actually um, where we've already been. So there should be loads of torches and stuff. So let's grab our map, just like this, just in case, and check that we've got everything in order. A uh, little mapsy down here. How's it looking? Yeah, so our big brown splodge should be where we're looking at. Um, and if we have to dig up to get out, we're just going to have to do that. We're just going to have to do it. What I would ideally want near like the end, uh, near or further down the series, I would love to get a really cool railway system so we don't need to walk down here every time. And it saves us getting lost because as soon as we come across a railway track, we'll know that we're, we're where we're supposed to be. And I think I memorized this bit enough. But it's just when we come to uh, new parts, I just get completely lost. Uh, we need to get down here, go left down here, and here we go. So we need to go, uh, what are we coming down for? We need obsidian, and we also need books. So if we go into the stronghold first and grab some beautiful books, uh, we're going to have to find the library first. Oh, back off, sir. What are you doing? Just No, 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 no. There we go. Nice spider eye for us there. Uh, we need to go and grab some books. So there is a... I think I've got this already. Um, we need to... There is... I think there's two libraries. I'm pretty sure there's two when we came across them before. But I missed a chest in one of them. So that might be something we need to go and grab as well. Now, I have no idea how this is laid out. So we're just going to have to guess. Keep going through all the rooms and seeing if we come across a library. Uh, is this dead end? Yep. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Stronghold, for being annoying. That's not great, is it? Not a great start. Uh, where did I just come from? See, this is the confusing part. Everywhere looks pretty identical. Oh, I found it already. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So I found this. Um, can we go up somewhere? I kind of want to see if I've missed out a chest or not. Because I'm pretty sure someone tweeted me or commented saying I did miss a chest. Uh, I can't remember if it was the one above or the one below. 
Uh, let's have a quick look around here. Let's go for an aerial view. There's tons of wood in here as well. Look how many books there are. There's so many, and the chest is there. So if we just drop down here, should be able to find the chest. Did I miss it? There's one book. That is actually helpful. We need one book for enchanting table, but now we need to grab all of these bookshelves. Uh, where's the way out? Uh, the way out's here, so let's just start grabbing them from here. And I'm gonna chop down all of these damn books. It's gonna be a lovely experience. So, how many books are we getting from each one? Let's see how many we get from just one of these little squares. It's quite a lot, actually. We've got, uh, 31, is that? That's tons. Uh, I can't remember how many books we need for a bookshelf. I think it's three. And we need, uh, 15 bookshelves, I think. But we're just gonna kind of fill it up until it looks fancy. Uh, I don't really mind if it goes over. Uh, I might grab some wood while I'm here as well, just to conserve trees in the- I hear a zombie. Zombie? Zombie? Uh, yep, I definitely hear a zombie. Uh, I'll wait till he finds me, I guess. <laughs> that could be a dangerous, dangerous solution, but it's gonna have to be. Oh, that's- oh, I thought that was a cave through there for some reason, but there wasn't. Let's take out some of these. There might be a cave nearby, because this stronghold is really in quite an ideal spot, I think. Uh, right in the middle of tons of caves, which we've already explored loads of already, and I've got um, so many books Oh geez so if we need we don't need this many books, but we're gonna take them anyway Let's take that take that take that there we go take all of the books and then go back We don't want to spend too much time doing this. Let's get rid of these as well uh, I think that's gonna do for now actually, so let's get out of here and try and remember our way back I'm pretty sure it's through here and then through the iron door uh, uh, I'm lost. Guys, I'm lost already. Wait, uh, okay, I recognize this bit. Look how much iron is in this wall. Wow, that's a ton of iron. I didn't get this before because I was just looking for, I think I just mined out all the stones. It looks really strange. This is going to look like a proper stronghold skeleton when we're done. Because it's just going to have all the ores that we don't want to mine up, which are the, uh, the silverfish spawners. Which we don't really want to deal with right now, unless we want some extra experience. But I don't think we're really, we're desperate for experience right now. Uh, hopefully we get the enchantment that we want. I really, really hope that we do. Oh, okay, buddy. I needed some bones. Come here. Come here, punk. There we go. Got some bones. Beautiful. Uh, that's a little extra bit. And we also need, uh, some extra obsidian as well. So let's go grab that. And some extra iron that I've spotted too. Bop. And that was a bit risky, actually. Uh, let's just grab this iron. Because we were running out of iron in the previous episode. I think we went and got a load, didn't we? Did we go and get a load of um, a load of that? I think we did. Right there, and that's the wrong, wrong staircase. Let's go down here and try and find ourselves our obsidian pit. Because I keep struggling to find it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I just can't come across it again. Uh, let's just go down here and then right... Oh, we still got the floating torch. Check this out. Magical floating torch. And some more iron down there as well. I think it might be down here, the obsidian pit. There's just a pit with loads of obsidian in it. And I can't seem to find it. Whenever I want to find it, I don't. And whenever I don't want to find it, um, I do. Which is kind of strange. Uh, let's try and grab this. So the enchantments we're ideally looking for are fortune and unbreaking because fortune will be amazing for when we find diamonds and stuff. We can just get more diamonds for our money, which is awesome. And more coal and anything that we need, we can just get more of. Uh, get out of my way, stone. What are you doing? Uh, and redstone. Anything, pretty much, we can just get more of. So I really hope we get fortune. I'm not even too bothered about unbreaking if we can get fortune. But um, you never know. You never know at all. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. Let's go grab him because we need the bones. Uh, hey, buddy. How you doing, son? How you doing? Get out of here, punk. Uh, he died. I, I wonder where he was then. He didn't really make a dying sound. All right, there's obsidian right here. Let's see if there's any lava underneath to begin with. Uh, I think we're okay. Sweet. So we only need... I think ideally we only need two, but let's grab a little bit more. Come on, obsidian. Work for me, obsidian. Come on. This is the, 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 oh no, 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 there is, oh man, 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 really, there is lava underneath, but how far does it go? Uh, that is annoying, <laughs> we just lost one piece of obsidian, but I guess it's not too bad, we can always make more. So we've got that, and if we dig, uh, down here, down here, and across, let's see if this is safe. I think this one's safe, which is good. Uh, it's always good to have a safe piece of obsidian. Uh, I think we're just going to grab three bits just to make sure that we've got enough. 
and then we should be okay. There we go. Safe piece of obsidian. Let's have a quick getaway spot just in case there's lava under here. No, we're good for these two bits as well. So our obsidian has been selected and we'll grab this and we're about halfway through the episode already. And what we'll do is go ahead and make our enchanting table and then our bookshelves as well. And then decide about the floor of the uh, the wizard hat because I, I ideally want it to be black and mysterious. So we need to go and grab some more black wool. We only have, oh, I think I put it away actually. So let's go, let's get out of this dump and be gone. Uh, I think this is the obsidian pit actually that I always try and find but always think it's really far away for some reason I don't know why I do that, but let's get out of here. I'm starting to learn this a little bit better It's just when we go really deep down. There's so many caves. I just get completely lost But uh, it turns out I didn't need my map this time. That's beautiful news Let's jump up here jump up here jump around here and uh, Move along move swiftly along and get to the surface so we can start using some more diamonds beautiful I'm really nervous about this enchanting stuff because if you don't I think you can get like unbreaking by itself with 30 levels Which is a bit it's a bit stingy. I gotta say enchantment gods. It's pretty stingy get away from me creeper I don't want to talk to you right now um, Let's get out of here. It is night time. So we could be in trouble Sprint, get out of here. I think the marketplace is pretty safe. I also want to sort out making this look uh, more pretty because we need to go and harvest. Oh, why are there creepers everywhere? Oh, no. I guess it's because, you know, we're playing Minecraft. Um, where'd that guy go? Don't be blowing up anything I've built. That's the worst part about playing in survival mode is that you can just build something amazing. Just have a creeper come along and just be like, no, I don't think it looks that great and just explode it. It's going to be awful. I don't know how are you doing, doggies? We, we should probably get like an ocelot and uh, keep it somewhere. Uh, we should probably do that. Uh, close the door, please. Jesus. Um, right then, we can make our uh, 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 enchanting table. I was going to say obsidian table. We're going to make our enchanting table now. And also, actually, before we do that... Oh, there's a skeleton somewhere. Where are you, Mr. Skeleton? Huh? Where are you? You want to show yourself? There you are. Oh, God, a creeper. Two creepers. Oh, my God, this is bad. Um... I'm just going to let you burn and die, because uh, you can't get me from there. And see if you drop anything. He did drop uh, some bones, which is good. And we got to battle these creepers right now. Boom! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, really, really, really. Oh. I'm going to have to patch that up now. Go away. <laughs> They're so annoying. Look, that was a pretty big explosion for a creeper as well. Didn't even take out his friend. How inconsiderate. All right, let's go and chop down some sheepy wools. Or woolly sheep, whichever you wanna, whichever you wanna say. We've got quite a few black sheep now, and let's go and grab some. I want to keep one black sheep, uh, maybe two black sheep at least, so we can breed them if we need any more black wool in the future. Got two black wool from that. Sometimes these guys do give us three, and that would be greatly accepted right now. Uh, come here, there we go. Oh, that looks strange. It's like his head was on backwards. Oh my goodness, freaky sheep's. We need to change some of them back to white as well. We've got seven black wool, and I think we've got some at home as well. Uh, let me go and check. Right, it's enchanting table time, and also bookshelf time as well. Uh, we're going to need, I think I said, uh, why are you standing up? No, no, sit down, please. Sit down, sit, sit. Hey, why are these guys not listening to me? Why are you not sitting down? These dogs are just ignorant today. What is wrong with you? Are you actually following me as well? Uh, these are kind of glitching out. I think it might be because the creeper hit me. I'm not too sure. But, um, anyway, let's ignore them and carry on. So we need, uh, was it two diamonds? I think it was two. And then we also need, uh, let's grab our black wool and one of the obsidian. That's four obsidian and one book. And we should be able to create it now, which is awesome. So here we go. Uh, enchanting table. Boom. Yes, we've got our enchanting table. I'm so excited. This is a more, this is, um, um <laughs> I can never talk in these uh, in these episodes. I just have this random moment where I'm just stumbling over my words. But um, now we need to make some bookshelves, so let's do that as well. Um, not there. I'm guessing it might be decorations. Uh, yes, guess correctly. So six pieces of wood. Wow, that's a lot of wood, actually, isn't it? It's a lot of wood indeed. Let's uh, make some more. We've got uh, seven. Wow, this takes up so much wood, really. 
Really? It takes up so much wood. Right, I'm gonna go get some more wood and I'll be back in a second. Right then, I think we might have enough wood now. I got uh, two stacks from this beautiful forest over here. We're quite far from the TDM pie, but I love walking like up to it. It looks so cool with the skyline. Should look awesome actually, should look really cool. Let's move over to here. We haven't been to the nether in a while as well, and there's good reason for that. I hate the nether, pretty much. Uh, if you've seen that, that was pretty crazy. I got exploded literally as soon as I went in as well, which was really harsh. And this door's still missing. How are you guys doing? Uh, we've got uh, a full uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six of you. Why is there only six of you? Is one of you hiding? Uh, I think there might be. One, two, three, four, five. No, nope, there's only six in there. Some of you need to get busy to make the seventh, please. And we should be back to population seven, which I think is now the nickname of the cloning machine. Uh, what were we doing? Uh, making bookshelves. I'm just kind of running around aimlessly. Let's make some more bookshelves. Uh, can you sit yet, guys? No, no, not at all. Uh, maybe that's just uh, that'll be fine when I reload the world. Uh, maybe. Who knows? They might just be stuck like that forever. So let's make uh, all of these... All right, so I've got 18 bookshelves now. Uh, that should be fine. Let's run along and see if we've got any more wool to be able to shear. Uh, probably not. I'm not too sure, though. Uh, that magical pig is still being, you know, positively magical. Uh, we have got some wool to shear. Sweet. Let's grab all these. We've got four here. And uh, one over here. So we have five... Uh, oh, six black sheep. Where did the... I didn't know we had six, but anyway, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine indeed. Uh, we've got 25 black wool, so we can start kind of like putting the black wool down so I, I kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like. Let's nom some bread. How is our farm doing? I think it's doing pretty well. Look at that. Oh, I love it when it's all full. It's almost full anyway. When it's almost full, it looks absolutely amazing. And we should be able to finish this magical hat in the next minute or so. Uh, right then, let's dig this out. And at least... Oh, I forgot to make a door. I forgot to make a door. Why? Uh, here we go. We actually got so many, uh, so many flipping books. It's crazy. Uh, so we want... Uh, the enchanting table needs to go here. And we also want this to go, this to go, this to go, this to go. And this is where all the bookshelves and stuff are going to go. Uh, so let's make... What? No ch- Oh man, you know what? The chicken could be the magical chicken of uh, wizarding uh, magic. So, uh, I was gonna have like a wizard in here, but there's no witches in- Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He wasn't the chosen one. He was not the chosen one. Oh, I think I put that in the wrong place. Because I want some walking space around the outside. Ah, oh, goddammit. Let's wind this up. I think I want this to go, uh, here. So if we have that there, the bookshelves, yeah, that's better, that's better. So I can save some wool here, actually. So if the bookshelves are going to go here... Oh, he's back, he's back, he is the chosen one. Or is he? Mm, who knows? Uh, let's get this out here. And we should have enough just to kind of circle it around. And let's get some bookshelves in here, shall we? Let's start the first one. Uh, let's put just a piece of wood down here and grab our bookshelves. One there, uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and again around this side. Just gonna shove some cobblestone there because no one will ever see it. Only you that are watching will know. Uh, I think this is gonna be enough. Let's see if we can get a level 30 enchantment up in here. And if we can, that'll be absolutely magical, but I kind of want it to look... Oh, it should look perfect. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, can we get a level 30 up in here? I don't need to see that, I don't think. So let's put that in there. We can get level 30, guys. Oh my goodness. This is a momentous occasion. I'm actually going to make kind of like a walkway up here. Just so that we've got some kind of black wall set down. And we made... Oh my god, incredible progress today. We actually did everything that we, we were meant to do. Which is maybe a first, actually. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four... And I also want to get some glowstone up in here as well. Just so it looks really fancy. Uh, let's knock this out like that. Uh, that and this should make uh, a nice little walkway up to our table. But eventually we'll have all of this made out of black wool. And I'm just going to put some cobblestone there just in case any nasties get in here. But um, it should be okay, I think. I kind of want to put some more bookshelves in just so it looks a little bit more magical. Um, we also need our magical chicken in there, otherwise it's just not going to work. Our little magical chicken wizard. Um, uh, our black sheep are just growing like crazy right now. 
I think it's because I'm only shearing them that they are... Uh, come here, Snippy. There we go. Um, I think it's because I'm only shearing them that they're growing literally straight away. There we go. Look at that. I caught him just as he was eating. Beautiful. Uh, come here. Hey, black sheep. Come here, please. Oh, no. I hit the blue one. Ah, oh, man. Uh, you know what? Uh, this guy's grown again. Uh, this is really productive, actually. We've got 15 more wool, which is nice. So by the end of this episode, we will chance enchanting our diamond pick. I'm so nervous. And in the next episode, no, in the next update of Xbox, they have said Anvil should be here. If Anvils are going to be here, that should be amazing. Hopefully they do them the more improved ways, so you're not wasting as many materials. That'll be absolutely fantastic. I came to make a door. I completely forgot what I came to make. Uh, I came to make a door. There we go. There's a door. So now we have a door to our magical place. Uh, you know what? We should be fine as overnight, I think. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chance it. We're gonna be just on time with this enchanting stuff. I don't know why those guys have kind of glitched out. It's a little bit weird and a little bit freaky as well. But um, I guess we have to deal with it. Just gonna have to straight up deal with it. All right then, let's get to this. This is gonna be awesome. The magical enchanted wizarding hat. Ah oh, yes. I'm so glad it turned out as well as I thought it would. Uh, we do need to add some sparkles to it, but uh, we'll do that next episode. That's fine, because we just want to get the whole enchanting thing done. But look at this. If I put the door in there, that looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, my God, it's finished. It's actually finished. And we want to have, like, a really magical walkway, which we could um, we could improve on next time. I think next episode is going to improve on the aesthetics of the, the whole kind of town. So we can have some more decorations, some decent pathways as well. We'll make it look a lot more swag. And I don't know why I said that. I, I was meant to say suave, not swag. I apologize for the use of that word. But, um... Let's just fill this in here while we've still got time. And then we can enchant our pickaxe. Where's the, the chicken, though? We need the chicken in here. Uh, sir, where are you? Where are you, Mr. Chicken? Uh, the door does open a little bit weirdly, but that's fine because uh, it looks a little bit better that way. I don't think the chicken is here. The chicken has kind of wandered off. Um, chicken, where are you? Oh, let's go to this as well. The hat is kind of floating in mid-air over here, which looks kind of magical as well. If we could get some, like, purple glow coming out of the bottom, that would look amazing. But um, for now, we're just going to have to deal with this. Let's put a couple more bits of wool here. And over time, we will eventually finish this whole uh, this whole bit here. Let's put that there, that there, that there. And you get the idea of what's going on. It'll be dark, it'll be mystical. And I think we've got time now to just appreciate the beauty that is the magical, oh my god, the magical wizarding hat. Let's let's go for this. Let's dive head first and put our pickaxe in and grab this level 30 enchantment. I'm so nervous right now. Uh, let's go for this one. Oh my god, three, two, one, bam. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, we got Silk Touch. I really didn't want Silk Touch, but we got a fish. Ah, oh, you know what? That's kind of bad. Um, we didn't get Fortune. I'm breaking three. Efficiency four. Ah, uh, Silk Touch one. It's better than just getting one by itself. Uh, just one enchantment by itself. But we're going to have to deal with it. We got our enchanted pick. Oh, man. You know what? I'm pretty... Ah, oh, you know what? Efficiency is good, and then breaking is good. Because it's going to make us zip through stuff better. But I really, really wanted Silk Touch. No, I don't want Silk Touch. I wanted... um, I wanted... What's it called? Uh, um, loot, no, the, the Fortune. Fortune is what it's called. But anyway, we did enchant something. We can enchant something else uh, later down the line. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no. I was going to enchant something silly then. But we don't want to waste our levels. We get to level 30 again and maybe we'll have one more chance. Uh, getting that uh, I might actually make another diamond pick just for the occasion because uh, There's more diamonds to be found, but how many have we got? Let's go and check before we end this out Let's go and check how many diamonds we've got left because we haven't made any diamond armor or any diamond sword But I don't really I'm not too worried about armor. 
We do have enough for one more diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword as well. So I might, when I get to level 30, enchant one more. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is going to be the end of this magical episode. We got a lot of stuff done. We got uh, more obsidian. We managed to make our complete wizarding hat finished. And we need to make a nice mystical pathway up here as well. It's looking really cool. I love it. I really do. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If this does so happen to be the first video that you've seen by me, um, then please do hit that subscribe button and join Team TD today for daily Minecraft videos on both PC and Xbox as well. And if you did happen to enjoy this episode and the progress that we made today, then please do hit that like button for more Minecraft Xbox. So stay tuned later in the day for more survival series onto the PC with Diamond Dimensions later on. Thank you so much for watching guys again, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!